There is no charge for awesomeness. G'day gang, Ed here, and welcome to a very simple video, but perhaps maybe one of the most important videos um, of the entire challenge. And you can see I've got Annabelle here on my shoulder. She woke up and she's a bit tired. So, uh, so uh, Annabelle will be guest appearing in this one. But um, basically what we want to do here is we want to show you how to analyze the results you've been getting in Google Analytics. Hopefully you've been starting to see some traffic and we want to show you what to look for. In particular, there's a couple of key things that we want you to look for. Uh, now, I'm going to use my own blog, which is the Tubby Nerd blog, which gets horrifically neglected during the month of August with all the 30-day challenge excitement on. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to use Google Analytics and what to look for and how important this is going to become as we get a bit later in the challenge. So let's go and have a look at the video. Well, we'll have a look at our Google Analytics now. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so you can see up here, this is our good old Google Analytics screen. And I've just logged in, and it's just like any Google Analytics. You can see um, that the actual URL is googleanalytics.com slash analytics. And you can see that there's a settings screen and there's a view report screen. We want to uh, view reports, so we're going to click on a view reports for Tubby Nerd. And you can see here we have a traffic screen. Now Rob set this up for me uh, a couple of days ago on the uh, where are we? The August the sixth, and you can see some really good data. So we can have a look. You can graph by day, by week, by month. Uh, obviously, by day is going to be useful for us at the moment. And you can see a total number of uh, visits, total number of page views. Uh, bounce rate and you can get definition if you want to click on any of these like bounce rate for example you can uh, find out like details of what the what the bounce rate is you can see there where it's uh, been set and you can get definitions of all of these terms as well as you're as you're going through so you can click on and click back to the overview So we can start to have a look at some of the uh, other details. I'll actually go back to the original opening screen, which funnily enough, they call the dashboard. And you can see this, the visitors, you can see here, you know, interesting stuff like, you know, um, you know what countries, for example, people uh, come from. You can, see, you can see why we do broadcasts in US time, because obviously the vast majority of traffic is from uh, the US and Canada, then Australia and the UK. Um, you can start to see traffic sources, where they're coming from, direct traffic, referring sites and search engines. Now, I suspect a majority of your traffic will probably be search engines and we want to delve into this. We can also have a look at what people have been looking at as well in terms of what content people have been looking at. And that is very, very important as well, just so we can see where people are coming uh, into. So that, actually, that's interesting. Uh, it's interesting that, that that podcast is getting a lot of listens. So that's very interesting. So I discover stuff when I'm looking at my traffic. But the one that we want to really have a close look at here is the traffic sources overview. And we want to click on view report. And we want to get a bit more detailed. So let's have a look at this. So of the traffic that we've received, 45% is direct traffic. In other words, people either typing tubbynerd.com or having it bookmarked. 37% from referring sites, so sites that uh, uh, have a link to me, and 17% from the search engines. Uh, you will probably have close to pretty much 100% of your traffic, although you might get referring sites from, say, Squidoo or Dig. And so you can hear, see we've got Google, we've got 137 visits, StumbleUpon, interesting, 111, Twitter, 52, Google, 47. And again, we can go and get full detailed reports. The one I want you to really, really, really focus on is the key words report. So these are the words that people have actually typed into the search engine to get access. And you can see that people have typed Ed Dale. 57 times, 36% of the referred traffic visits are from people doing that. So wouldn't it make sense that I need to make sure I do a lot of work on that phrase 
because that's where I'm getting a majority of my traffic. And when you uh, when you sell your own stuff as well, you'll actually find that um, you know you'll be able to find which keywords actually convert. But at the moment, we're just interested in traffic and our traffic numbers. Remember, our goal, our ideal, will be to get from wherever it comes from, 200 people a day coming to your site. That's the ultimate goal for all of this stuff and that's what we have to remember to do. So, if we have a look at our, uh, go in to have a look at our report, we can see, you know, you're starting to get quite a bit of uh, detail. So you can have a look at, and look at that. Uh, three people have typed in the definition of joy and have got to me. That's lovely, isn't it? Uh, iPhone camera sucks. Uh, people have got crock porn. Okay, I don't even want to start to think about why people have typed that in and got to. But this is you'll find this fascinating stuff. It also shows where I show up. Now the interesting one to me is Skudu, uh, which is interesting in and of itself. That I've got uh, twelve visits from Skudu, and I'd, I actually, what I'd normally do is I'd go in and type in the actual search engine there just to see what uh, what Squidoo is all about. That's inter very interesting to me. Um, and I suspect it's based on an article I wrote on Squidoo Slack. But that's delivering me, uh, you know, uh, two, three visitors a day, which is interesting for just a single blog post. It's obviously got a ranking somewhere. Uh, and again, we could go and check that out and see how come I'm ranking for the word Squidoo, which is very cool. So what I want you to do is I want you to have a really good look at uh, this particular area and in particular the keywords area. There is so much to Google Analytics. This is barely skimming the surface. But the first thing that we really want you to focus on is where is the traffic coming from? What keywords um, are coming from? And that is where we have to start. All right, be very interested to see. It's a nice, easy, light day for you because you're really only just looking at a report. So it's a good chance for you to uh, you know, write another article or do some bookmarking or generally doing some maintenance and, and work on your blog. I should remind you too, if you're watching this on YouTube, every single one of these particular uh, broadcasts and these videos are available in high definition from the 30 Day Challenge site. So you can actually download a version for you to keep which is super sharp and can really, you, and there's two sizes too, so you can absolutely see how crystal clear and all the data, so you don't have to squint at the YouTube um, because it's quite a small window. There are also uh, Cliff Notes available. Now they take a couple of days to come out, uh, but when they are out, they're also available at 30daychallenge.com site. So it's a good opportunity for you to go over there and grab stuff. And of course, there's an awesome forum as well. So uh, if you just happen to have come across this on YouTube, there's a heap of other resources available um, at the 30daychallenge.com website. All right, with that, have fun. Keep cracking with the challenge. Day 13, we're almost, almost halfway there. All right, we'll speak to you soon. There is no charge for awesomeness.